Julie from Heart to Hand Stamping and um, you might remember in my previous video I showed you how I made this binder that holds my collage paper pads and I also showed you how I created this little ephemera holder to go with it and I really love it it's a great solution but what I didn't love was this very plain white cover it's pretty uninspiring right just looking at a white cover and I noticed that in these white binders there's a little plastic sleeve in the front so you can insert a title page so I thought well I am going to create a colorful title page that might be a little more inspiring so my binder went from this to this well what do you think it's a lot more colorful right and a little more inspiring and I like the look of this on my desk um, I've also done um, a spine piece as well and I've just put in here the um, the next lot of uh, paper pads that I'll be buying so I'm hoping as I said earlier to fit three so I put them on the spine so I'll know which ones I have in here um, but yeah that's a lot more colorful now um, and I like it a lot more on my desk so um, to create this um, little cover piece I decided to go because it's for collage paper pads for a collage background and all I've used is again some ordinary copier paper and torn it up and I've put it onto some 250 GSM cardstock just to make it a little bit sturdier to slide in there now the colors I used the distress colors I used was um, I used the peacock feathers in both the ordinary distress ink and in the oxide I also used um, a little bit of this pick, uh, picked raspberry um, for my title and I also used a dusty concord as well just to pick it up a little bit. Um, I also used the stamp sets I used in this. In the background here um, I used the grunge background stamp so you'll see in the background there I have some of that uh, background stamp coming through and then for all these uh, moths and butterflies I use the uh, moths and butterfly set that I then fussy cut out um, for the stencil that I've used in the background I went for this um, the steampunk stencil so that's that one there I really love that stencil um, and also in the background you might notice that I've got a few little white splashes and I've just used the um, Distress spray stain in the picket fence to put those white splashes on um, I also um, to stamp my images I use the memento ink to stamp all my images and then I've done um, a darker border around the outside here and I just used the uh, Distress Oxide in black soot to do the outside. Um, now to stick all my collage down and my pieces I did start um, with some glue stick I find that really good just to position things but then to stick all the edges down nice and securely I used my Distress Collage Medium um, to stick all the edges down so they were nice and stuck. Now you might notice that around my moths and butterflies um, there's I've placed a shadow I just really wanted them to sort of pop out a little more I don't know if you can see that I've got a shadow around there and that was really easy to do I just used a um, the Kazaz watercolor pencils it's the black watercolor pencil comes in a set like this so that's what they look like um, and I just used the black pencil and all I did was just um, put some put some of the pencil around the edges and then I got a wet baby wipe and I just smudged it with the baby wipe and that gave me a nice little uh, shadow to make those stand out a little bit more um, I think that's all I've used in that that I can see uh, yes that's all I've used oh and then the title I actually printed just on my computer so I just put that on ordinary copy of paper and I wanted to tear that up and make it look like it was part of the collage background so I've actually um, gone ahead and done a um, I filmed the process of um, creating this if you're interested in seeing how I did it it's really easy um, very inky again but that's me right <laughs> inky and messy 
um, and I've done it in, um, I fast forwarded it so that it's not too long and I've also put some music to it so it might be a little bit more relaxing for you, you to watch. So if you'd like to watch that, that's coming up now and I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 